Probably, man. Roddy's one of the best lyricists out there, man. Yes. Mama Guevo. Nigga, bloop, 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 bloop. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on rappers react. They talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood sticks it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Shmoe Dog. Yeah. I got some trivia for you. What you got? Would you like to know what I have? I would like to. I mean, I can't answer them unless you tell them to me. That, good, good point. Okay. Or you ask them to me. Ask them. Yeah, you gotta ask me. We don't say ask. We say ask. Ask. You gotta ask me. All right. So, um, what was the first CD pressed in the United States? Oh man. So this must have been in the eighties. The first CD. Maybe they had CDs in the seventies. Man, it man, I don't know. I don't know how far it was back, but I would say Queen. All right, I feel like you can. All right, so the 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 person who it is has a song, or the song was on this, and and, and it's it was it this the song title does have USA or US. In it. Yeah, USA. Born in the USA. That one. Who was that? Oh God, what's his name? Uh, what's his first name? Bruce, man. Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> I'm yeah. not supposed to give you the answers, dude. <laughs> My bad, I went blank on his name for a second. <laughs> you good. All right, how about this? In the TV show Family Guy, what pool game does Stewie play with Helen Keller? Lord. Oh, yeah. Pool? Yeah, pool game. Yeah, you said what pool game? Yeah, did what, he play, play with... they bumper pool? No, it was uh, Marco Polo. Oh. Yeah. Oh, in the pool. I thought you were talking about on the table. Yeah. All right, how about this? Yeah. What voices... Who voices the character of Glenn Quagmire in the TV show Family Guy? Oh, I don't know that one. Come on, dude. You got to. No, who voices it? Who makes the Seth show? Seth MacFarlane? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Smokey hey, does. He does most of them then, huh? Yeah. yeah. Smokey overthinking things. I know. I thought they brought in somebody else to do it. All right, so if you are someone... Like, let's say you have, like, no manners. Let's say you come to the, like, you invite this person over for Thanksgiving and you give, or they make their plate and everyone's eating all sophisticated, like, rah, 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 just using their hands. <laughs> and you're like, dude, you eat like you were raised in a barn. You got, you got raised. Oh, raised? So it's a phrase. Um, by? Uh, raised by? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about that, dude? <laughs> Raised by wolves. You got it, my oh, friend. <laughs> guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. Hey, for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. Comes directly from you, right down in the comment section and over on Patreon. And today. <clears throat> We have another wonderful suggestion from one of our wonderful Patreon members who goes by the name of Sanny, Sanny Johnson. Johnson. Yes, shout out to you, Sanny yeah. Johnson, because you are a loyal Patreon member, my friend, and you've sent us over a band, an artist we could take out. Uh, this is the band, mm -hmm. but that we have thoroughly fallen in love with. Absolutely. Falling in reverse. Falling in reverse? Falling in reverse love with him. That's dope. Falling in reverse <laughs> love. That's awesome. That's what you fall that's in and hate, hate somebody. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, you brought that up on one uh, one of our reactions to Fall in Reverse. She was like, you know, I think that name means like standing up, right? Oh, yeah. Well, like, you know, if you hit rock bottom, you, you go down a certain rabbit hole in your life and you got to get back up. Like fall, fall in, a reverse. in reverse. Like I fell down. Now I'm falling back up. See, that's the thing. Like to the trash talkers, you know, and shout out to Ronnie because he has covered us on his Twitch channel and we greatly appreciate it. But trash talkers help us out on this. See if we can con or see if we can blow up his Instagram or his <laughs> Twitch and say, hey, what does falling in reverse actually mean? And see yeah. if we're right. Or if he's already said it. Because when I said that, I don't remember ever seeing any confirmation if I was right about that, at least in the comments. So if he has said it and you guys know, drop it down in the comments. If not, let's find out. Exactly. Now this guy is good at everything. 
Mm-hmm. He's, he's a jack of all trades. He can sing, yeah. he can act, he so can dope. dance, he can rap, he can. Yeah. And what he does with Falling in Reverse, he takes a metal. I, I would call, from what we've heard from Falling in Reverse, I'd call it metal trap core. Mm. Like it, it takes a, and I, because he's actually spitting, bro. Oh, he's spitting bars. He's bro. spitting. Yeah, I mean, probably, man. Ronnie's one of the best lyricists out there, he man. Is. I know I made the comparison to MGK one time, and I don't think he liked that comparison at all. He kind of, kind of got worked up about it. Yeah. But I, I tell you this: I, in, in a battle right now, Ronnie Racky versus MGK, I'm taking Ronnie, Ronnie Racky. All right, Ronnie Racky versus Tom McDonald. In a, in a rap battle. Man, I, I gotta take Ronnie. I, I do, because you, he's got the better structure. He's, I mean, he can spit fast. Like, Tom McDonald, like, I heard him spit fast a few times, but Ronnie's just an overall better lyricist. I, I, I not, No no disrespect to Tom no, McDonald. No, no. He's a great lyricist of also. But if you had to match them two up, you'd go with Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I gotta say, there's one person that I think could be Ronnie. Who? Hollywood Six, oh, and I'm ready for that battle whenever you want to. Uh, of course. Hey, whenever you want to make a song, <laughs> let's do it, bro. <laughs> this is shit I should nah, know. man, that's my dog. Or I, I think we're cool. I think we're cool. <laughs> yeah, we internet dogs. Yeah, man. I think we're cool. So dap me up, Tom. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> God, I done lost it. Oh God, I lost it. He going after you now for my sure. My bad, Ronnie. <laughs> dap me up, Ronnie. Please on this one for real. Um, but yeah, raised by wolves. And and guys, again, thank you so much to Sandy Johnson for sending us uh, this through Patreon, guys. If you want to support us, the best way to do that, and it really, it really helps from the bottom of our hearts, is through Patreon. Really, absolutely. Thank you. But raised by wolves, falling in reverse. And actually, I think this is an older song. I want to say it's either ten or eleven years old. Mm. So we've only known new falling in reverse. Yeah. What's this one about? Is this before the venture into hip hop? Good. Because I know he did, you know, like I want to say he came from like an emo background at some point, or at least that was one of the genres he experimented with. You know, I don't want to be wrong about that, so they blast me in the comments, but. I Ain't think nobody worry right. about you in them comments, man. They, they, they get oh, the tips. You, you do, seen yeah. Them? I mean, you seen them? <laughs> I mean, they. It's two percent. The rest yeah, are all positive. Is. And shout yeah, out it's to mostly trash. positive for sure. But go ahead. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, maybe it's one of those. Maybe it's like more emo-ish, or or maybe this was a time when he was already experimenting with hip hop. Smoke though. What up? Let's get it. Let's do it. I want to see the live, dude. Load in. Can we get backstage passes, please? Yeah. I will ride the little the little lift up and the load in. Yeah. No, let me do the mixing board. <laughs> yeah. Kind of look like the masquerade. Yeah. Oh, it does. I was lost, now I'm found. I'm sustained by the sound of the angels singing me to sleep while my feet are leaving the ground. Am I dead or am I dreaming instead? A cornucopia of opiates are flooding my head. Mama say I am smart. All it takes is a spark to ignite my bad intentions and do what I do best of your heart. Don't be fooled. I was raised by the wolves. Now the moon hates the fools so you know. Oh, this is like bitches.
Action. That's hard. Think that's emo? Mm-mm. What do you think it is? Emo, hundred <laughs> percent. No, <laughs> I'm joking. No, I don't think it was emo. <laughs> what do you think it is? Kind of punk rap. Uh, it did have kind of a flow to it. No, 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 that's true. It was like prap. Yeah, punk. even though he was singing and he still had a good flow going on. I mm. mean, prap. Crap, yeah, <laughs> punk rap, yeah. and and we're not we're not. You trying know to, that's been done. Of hundred every genre has been done. Hundred percent. And yeah. listen, we're not being condescending at all. But what it is is this guy, and this was a younger Ronnie. This yeah. he can just to show the he shows his you know evolution of where he started, mm-hmm. and you and us being the viewers and his fans out there, us being able to see him go from this. To mm-hmm. this, to yeah. this, to this, to doing zombified and yeah. I mean popular monster doing all these, oh, cr- yeah. dude, man, look, if it's Ronnie, it's going to be good. Yeah, you know, and we keep saying Ronnie, but this isn't just Ronnie Radke. This is falling the in reverse. Group. Yeah, I mean, we have to take look, bro. Their drummer mm-hmm. is bananas. Fire, yeah, bananas. Yeah, all of it was on point, man. It's just a great band. Yeah, great band. I mean, dope ass song too, dude. Mm-hmm. And you know, like you were talking about, you know, the way he structures his songs. Mm-hmm. He structures them to where, you know, you won't get it. The like again, a lot of comments say, "Oh, y'all have already watched these videos because y'all are already seeing it or knowing it's gonna drop." As musicians ourselves, we just know the how. how like a, a format of a song. Yeah, we know like what's gonna come next if you yeah. if you've made music for damn near your entire yeah. life and like repeating like the last line of each verse. Right. Yeah. You tend to do that. Yeah. And but Ronnie does it in a way to where the first like the first usually he'll come in with with the with the verse. Then he do a small bridge and then he do like a hook mm-hmm. and then it's like okay cool so is he gonna come back in with the the verse which he did on mm-hmm. this song and then he comes back in with directly with the hook and the hook you already know that uh dang it I don't already forget that the <laughs> reason that was me or yeah. it was always me. me yes man <laughs> yeah but as far as what this song is about small dog yeah. It makes me wonder, like, what happened before Fallen in Reverse? Like, because it sounds like he had a bad time in life. And it almost sounds like this is him recognizing that he's had a rough time. Yep. And he's unapologetically raised by wolves, you know. He's wild. Like, yeah, he's wild like, boy. He's like, I can't change that, you I, know. You, you got a pun there and you didn't even know it. Wild boys? Yeah. What do you mean? You said he would beat MGK in a battle? Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> exactly. He's. This yeah. is the real wild boy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, he wasn't put on by Puffy. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Shot. <laughs> uh, but no, I think this is him like recognizing like that. Yeah, I've moved on from mm-hmm. what I did in the past, but you still have to understand I am what I am. Yeah, I mean... At the end of the day, you know, and he might have been using this as a pun to where, or or a metaphor, basically, mm-hmm. where he's like, you know, yes, it may look like I'm raised by wolves, 
but this is actually who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, it was always me. I was never putting on a show. I was never putting on a front. Yeah. It may look like I was putting on this, but at the end of the day, it's just <laughs> yeah. That's just who I am. That's just who I am. That's what I got from it. I mean, yeah, dude. It's it. Listen, no one can do you better than you. Mm -hmm. You are the best version of you, and no one can do it better than you. And that's what I think Ronnie did here. Yep. Hundred percent. I agree. Sandy Johnson, thank you so much for being a loyal Patreon member and getting us into some more Falling in Reverse. Guys, go follow us on our Facebook channel. The link is down in the description. And let us know what's next by Ronnie Radke or Falling in Reverse down in the comment section. And with that being said, my name's Baron J. Hollywood. Six. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowboy. And we are over and out. Deuces. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another segment of Rappers React. If you guys want to see another artist that we cover, just click uh, right here. If you want to see the last video did, just click right over here. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.